What's it like having a player like Trey Mitchell on the team that's kind of cool and calm to the whole yeah. game? Uh, he make the game a lot easier for all of us because he can do everything. He can pass, dribble, he can shoot. And he real smart when it comes to the game of basketball. So he just make the game a lot easier for us. And sometimes he even slow the game down a lot for us. So he bring a lot to the team. Uh, I feel like we, we played good. You know, it's always run for improvement, but the most important thing is that we came out with the win. So I feel like we played good as a team, but we right back to the drawing board. We're going to get right back in practice and see what adjustments we can make before the next game. What did Coach Tom maybe say to you guys after the game in the locker room? Uh, he was happy with the win, but, you know, like he said, he said we're going to get back to practice and work on some things, but he was happy. DJ, when you're out there, you're real serious, mm -hmm. you know, maybe looking like a dog like Coach B talking about. Yeah. Then you got Rob, who's kind of laughing, smiling yeah. when he's playing. Yeah. But both you guys still play at a very good level. So kind of talk about just kind of the differences and kind of your personalities and why, you know, it's still good to be serious, but then also to have fun on the court, too. Uh, you know, I feel like we all got different personalities, but we all move together well. Like, even off the court, we all real close. We all hang out with each other, and always laughing and stuff like that. So I feel like we all, each person got their own different personality, but it moved good together, even on the court. Like you said, you know, some people real serious and some people still bring that fun to the game. So that's what just make it fun for all of us. Speaking off of that. I know some of your scoring on the where they are, you match, I mean, after you much. But is this, do you feel like this is the best you've ever played since you've been in college, just all around? Um, yeah, I, all around, yeah, but, but part of that is credited to the people I'm surrounded by, you know. My assist numbers wouldn't look the way they were if these dudes weren't hitting shots, you know, but it's, it's part of my journey at the same time. I've learned a lot everywhere I've been, and, you know, this is my last go at this, so I'm able to draw on all my experiences and, and really figure out where I can fit in, and I think Cal does a great job of giving us freedom to play, you know. We're not stuck in a system. We have a team full of guys that can just hoop. Trey, Cal kind of mentioned that you're getting a lot more comfortable just letting the game come to you. Does that kind of help, obviously, the, with how well you've been playing so far? Yeah, I mean, I've always been a dude that kind of just lets the game flow and, and take advantage of whatever opportunities present themselves. Uh, I understand that there's going to be times where I'm going to have to be more aggressive or passive, whichever it may be, just to help our team. And I think that also comes down to Cal just giving us freedom. You know, he, he trusts us to make the right play. Cal kind of gave you the biggest comment. Think about anything that he's played. Have you ever been coached like that? Like the way he's coaching you and holding you accountable to the way he's held you accountable? Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I got coached by Jeff. Jeff McGinnis, he was an NBA player. That's my guy for sure. So, yeah, he coached me a little bit like that, but it was a little bit different also because we got so many players. So, coach will coach me like that, he won't take me out. <laughs> now I get taken out of the game because <laughs> we got so many dudes. So, I respect it for sure. And I just I just try to learn from him. Do you feel like you picked the right guy in terms of Cal balancing, you know, pushing back and letting you go? He talked about biting his hand a few times a game and just sort of, you know, gritting his teeth and letting you go a few times, but obviously there's some stuff that are non-negotiable with him. Right, yeah, 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 for sure. I definitely think Kyle is perfect for me because, like, you're not supposed to get everything you want. And he, he, he prepares you for the next level. He's put so many players at the next level that he knows. He's even coached at the next level, so, yeah, he knows, like, what it takes, and he knows that it's not all just, like, basketball. It's other things you got to get over your uh, pride sometimes. So, like, he helps me with more than just basketball. It's just like more as a person. In there. What is your favorite play where, where you knew you were doing something he didn't want you to do, but you made it anyway, and it was Today? okay? No, just the season so far. In general. Where you went rogue and it worked out. Um, I feel like there's so many. Yeah, yeah, I kind of be going crazy a lot, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I can't think of that one. But uh. In the moment, do you think of that? Do you think like, oh, I'm going to do this, and if I don't, he's going to take me out or he's going to yell at me, or, or do you just do it and then afterward, like, oh. Yeah, when you think like that, that's when you mess up. That's when <laughs> that's when it goes left. So I try not to think at all. I just play basketball. If I mess up, then it's my bad. So I take responsibility. What can you speak on Trey's game? 